Recombination is the name given to any event that involves the breakage and reunion of DNA molecules. Homologous recombination, or crossing over, occurs between two double-stranded DNA regions where the nucleotide sequences are the same, or at least very similar, and is responsible for the exchange of DNA segments between homologous chromosomes during meiosis. The two chromosomes in each homologous pair can participate in different exchanges. Recombination results in the exchange of alleles along chromosomes and dramatically increases the genetic variability of the gametes produced. How does homologous recombination take place? It begins with the two double-stranded molecules lining up adjacent to one another. A double-stranded cut is made in one of the molecules, breaking it into two pieces. The best studied of E. coli's recombination systems is called the RecBCD pathway. RecBCD is a multi-protein enzyme that binds to the free ends of a double-strand break. RecBCD progresses along the DNA using its helicase activity to break the base pairs until it reaches the first copy of a consensus sequence called a chi site. Exactly what happens at a chi site is not fully understood, but the outcome is that the RecBCD enzyme produces a double-stranded molecule with a 3' overhang, as is required for the initiation of recombination. A protein called RecA coats the single-strand overhang. The RecA-coated DNA filament invades the intact double helix of the adjacent homologous chromosome, which has a similar sequence. The invading DNA initially lies within the major groove and forms hydrogen bonds with the base pairs it encounters, forming a triplex structure. One of the strands of the uncut DNA is displaced and forms a structure called a D-loop for displacement loop. The invading strand is extended by new DNA synthesis, enlarging the D-loop. The other broken strand is also extended. Ligase joins the free nucleotide ends to form a structure called a heteroduplex. In a heteroduplex, two double-stranded molecules are linked together by junctions called holiday structures. The true three-dimensional configuration of a holiday structure can be seen when we rotate the DNA. This chi form of DNA can be observed using an electron microscope. Holiday structures are mobile and can slide along the DNA. This branch migration results in the exchange of longer segments of DNA. Branch migration is catalyzed by two proteins, RUV-A and RUV-B. A tetramer of RUV-A binds directly to the holiday structure, forming a core to which two RUV-B rings attach, one on either side of the junction. The RUV-AB complex is thought to act as a molecular motor, rotating the helices so that the branch point moves. Branch migration stops preferentially at a particular recognition sequence, found relatively frequently in E. coli DNA. After branch migration, the RUV-AB complex detaches and is replaced by two RUV-C proteins. The holiday structures are cut within the recognition sequence in the DNA by the nuclease RUV-C, separating the heteroduplex back into individual double-stranded helices. DNA ligase seals the NICs, completing the recombination process. Looking at the three-dimensional chi form of the holiday structure, shows that there are two possible cleavages in different orientations that have very different outcomes. The left-right cut, horizontal resolution, gives two molecules that have exchanged short segments. The exchange strands have similar sequences, so the effect on the genetic constitution of each molecule is relatively minor, and the strands carry the same alleles as before. This type of resolution is not thought to occur very often. The up-down cut, vertical resolution, results in reciprocal strand exchange, with double-stranded DNA being transferred between the two molecules, such that the end of one molecule is exchanged for the end of the other molecule. This reciprocal strand exchange is the DNA transfer event that occurs during crossing over in meiosis and generates the different allele combinations present in gametes.